Hey guys, welcome to Metrics. Today we'll be having a look at the Smart Sensor Multi Gas Meter. This is the AS8903 model to be exact. Now this is a carbon monoxide as well as a hydrogen sulfide meter. It's a very simple to use meter despite the fact that it, it is aimed at the industrial market as you can see from the design and its accuracy but that doesn't mean that it's very complicated to use this is a very simple meter anyone can use it whether at home in the office you know pretty much anywhere you can use this meter as you can see it's got the sensors up top and then we have four buttons here now for just this video we'll be using this one button which is the power button because this is what this is the button that you'll be using every other day these other three come in during calibration of the meter and we'll be doing a separate video on that so you need to watch out for that so for today we'll just quickly turn it on and the way you do that is you simply hold this power key here for about a second turns green and then it has a 20 second countdown now during this countdown it starts uh, activating the sensors and trying to get the levels of carbon monoxide as well as hydrogen sulfide in the air so this is a very compact very light meter to have so it's easily portable you can um, carry it with you and strap it along your belt strap very very efficient very easy to use so as soon as those 20 seconds are up it has a very clear very easy to read display output as you can see it simply displays two values up here we have one it says the top one is h2s that's hydrogen sulfide and the bottom one is carbon monoxide it measures both in ppm that's parts per million so very simple to read and very simple to understand now I'm sorry guys for today because we not doing anything we have all the values at zero but on a separate video we will be testing carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide in a contained environment so we should see the levels go up and down fluctuate and we'll also get to test the alarm and actually see what it does and how it reacts to that so that's all for today though We'll simply turn it off, simply hold this power button here and we'll wait for three beeps. We have and then the meter is off. So that's it guys. Until next time, thank you for watching.